Coming with Bob Let's have a few brews We'll have some fun With the bum wine crew So kick your feet up And grab you a beer Cause damn man I'm glad that you're here All right, all right, all right. This is Bumwine Bob welcoming you to an all new edition of Bumming with Bobcat. And joining the show this week, she is one of the fastest rising stars in the adult entertainment industry. And on her way to becoming one of the top MILF performers in the porn world, she was a 2021 AVN nominated hottest MILF of the year and also nominated for most spectacular boobs. It's Miss Lindsay Ryder is joining the show this week. Lindsay, how are you tonight? Hi, I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. You know, hanging out here, having a a, a little uh, cocktail, and we'll be cracking open another one here in a minute. But hey, thanks Ooh. for coming on the on the show and and hanging out here. You know, thanks for having me. Yeah, definitely. I mean, for anybody who doesn't know about you, I mean, do you want to do a quick little cliff notes version about? I guess your your talents, I guess we'll, <laughs> we'll say. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I started in the um like video mainstream videos, um, adult videos in 2019. And that was the summer of 2019. Before that, I was a stripper and I did some modeling and um someone had reached out to me about getting into adult film. So um I signed with an agency and have been doing that since. Yeah, yeah. I know you, you're moving pretty quick. I know when when I was going through your, your the notes and your bio and everything, and when I saw that it was it's only been since 2019 that you've been in the industry. I was like, that that's pretty quick. I mean, that's only a uh, less than a handful of years that you've been doing this, and already it's kind of like the the snowball rolling down the hill where <laughs> how much steam you're picking up already. That, that's that got to be uh, pretty cool. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. I've been having a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. And I was going to say, I was going to mention that like one of those years also was the COVID year. So I feel like that year doesn't really count. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. You, you couldn't do <laughs> the, the, the full effect of everything during, during that time. Yeah. Yep. That was uh, luckily we've been, um, yeah, you know, just coming back from that, uh, I think it's more like a lot of shoots was were getting canceled and everything like last minute and whatnot. Now I feel like it's more on track. Yeah, hopefully we're moving in the right direction now. Can then get things back to normal when yeah. it comes to to shooting films and and really getting down to the. I guess the the work that people want to see you in, <laughs> and, and that I want to be in. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Right. You want to have the fun to go along with it, so I don't yeah. blame you. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, because when I was going through it, I I saw that I'm like, oh wow, I mean that's 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 pretty quick, and then going through, and you know, you have to do your research. You have to go through and browse through, you know, all, all the collections just to you know see who who you're talking to and who you're dealing with. You know, it's all, it's all for research purposes and, (laughs) and, and you go through and it's like, like, oh shit, you're doing all this work and now getting out there doing more things with it. I mean, how does it feel for you to be in the industry now? I mean, now, is this something that you had set out to do or is it just kind of like once somebody found you and put this bug in your ear you were like you know what screw it I'm gonna go with it yeah um it was kind of it was kind of the latter for me um I mean it it was like a progression kind of like with sex work in general um because like I said I started out at um the strip clubs being um being a well actually I started out being a coat check and then I progressed to shot girl and then I went to (laughs) being a stripper from there so like everything's been like kind of like baby steps but um I'm like definitely really glad that I decided to get into 
the films and what I'm doing now. Um, Cause I'm just so happy with it. Like I love, I love my work, everyone that I work with, like I've had nothing but good experiences. Um, I was just in the beginning, you know, like you worry, even with like stripping and everything, you worry that like people will judge you or like my family will disown me or something like that, but it's not been that way. Um, and I've actually like really just enjoy embracing it. And, um, yeah, like I said, I'm having a lot of fun and I did my first feature show, which is actually like my goal. Um, when I first was, um, thinking about joining the industry, I was like, oh, well that might be something that I could do where, you know, um, instead of, basically being a house dancer, I could, um, make a name for myself in porn and come out and be, um, a feature dancer. So that was one of the things that was on my mind. One of the goals that I had, and I had my first feature show and it went really great. So happy with that. And yeah, that's, I don't know if that answers the question. No, 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 definitely. <laughs> no, okay. no, no. I was, I was going to say, because I, yeah, I, I saw like, that. Yeah. I was going to say, I know I saw that you had your, your big feature uh, a yeah. couple weeks ago over at uh, at Sapphire, New York, uh, yes. doing the, the strip show there and, and just watching, you know, just going through like your Instagram and just seeing, you know, just watching the stories that you post and go through and say, going through the whole experience of like, how much fun you have with it and then wanting to do more things like that where you can kind of like travel around i mean i guess you want to kind of travel around yeah. the country hit different clubs do a feature and then kind of move along and do that along with your other shoots yeah yeah for sure like i love meeting my fans and i love i like i said i like just from starting out as a dancer and at the clubs and everything that's like kind of my roots so like I really enjoy that. And that was always kind of my goal to, um, to travel and feature, feature dance. Yeah. And it's funny because you said you started from the, <laughs> the, the bottom of the bottom rung of, I guess, the, the dancing industry, I guess you could say, you know, going through, oh, you know, yeah. coat check, you know, just the most girl. innocent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was so innocent. <laughs> Now look at me. <laughs> yeah, now, now, yeah, all that innocence is now gone. It's it, it's all out there. It's all on full display. There, there's no hiding anything. Now everybody's seen you every which way. <laughs> I mean, not everybody. That's my goal. I'm trying to get there. <laughs> no, that's true. That's true. That's true. Like like I said, it's only been uh, less than a handful of years that you've been doing this and working in the adult industry. So you just keep yeah. hugging along. You keep doing more shoots, more videos. And then mm-hmm. next thing you know, you'll be, you know, on that that front page. You'll you'll be winning those big AVN awards out there once yeah. people start to take notice. I mean, I'm, I'm sure that's got to be one of the the big goals is to get that that notoriety and say, okay, you're at the like the top of the industry. Yeah, that would be amazing. Yeah, I mean, you, you go along, and I guess it's something to strive for to do and Mm -hmm. and keep moving along with with that process and it because i mean when you said you start off just doing modeling and then from there it goes from modeling to like nude shoots and the next thing you know it's like solo stuff then okay then it's with somebody else the next thing you know you're kind of like i I guess i guess i'm doing this now and if you're having fun with it that that's perfect you're like okay i'm doing it i'm having fun let's you know keep going with it yeah for sure. I didn't know, like, I didn't know if I would enjoy it or if it, like, I was like, well, fuck it, I'll try it. But no, I love it. <laughs> yeah. And, and that's always what I say when I talk to other people and it's trying to differentiate between, okay, all right, I guess, I mean, if you like sex in general and then it's okay, well, okay, now you're doing it, it's being recorded on, <laughs> on video. Okay. How much of a different experience is it for you to have it recorded? compared to just you know doing it for for your own fun and your own pleasure (laughs) yeah like it's totally it's a lot different actually because like you have to be mindful which I am not very good at because a lot of times I like just like be in the moment or whatever and then I'll have to break out of it and I'm like oh god I have to like open up and everything there's like certain 
um, ways that you have to like angle your body so that the viewers can like see the penetration and everything. So you definitely like aren't fully into it. I mean, you, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I, it's like I you, you are, but you aren't you like, it's like yeah. you're, you're into it, but then that thought pops in your head and then it's like, if somebody's saying, okay, like shift, shift a little bit to the right, you know, <laughs> yeah. like lean, lean up a little bit. And then it kind of takes you out of the moment you're in. If you're enjoying it, then you're like, Definitely. oh crap, I got to do this. And okay, now make sure you get this. We got to get this shot here. So and yeah. And it's just like, oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. There's a camera there and there's like a room of people. I forgot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but hey, but not the same. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, yeah, I, I could imagine. Yeah, yeah. But if you still have fun with it, then that's that's what matters with yeah. it. And and what I'm gonna crack open here because I finished my one. I was I was just drinking, um, which I don't know if you if you've had these before. Um, it's the Cayman Jack margaritas. So there's like these canned margaritas, and they have like a variety pack. So they have like a regular margarita. There's a mango one, a watermelon, a strawberry. And I think that's it. But surprisingly for like pre-canned margarita drinks, they're actually pretty good. So if you're a margarita fan, I would yeah. I would recommend trying them out because they're, they're all over the place now. And, you know, made with lime juice and agave nectar. So this is some... Um, I guess as as what? fancy as you can get for a, a can. <laughs> in a can. <laughs> a can. A can. That does sound drink. good, though. Yeah, they nice are. Cause, yeah. yeah, a lot of people have 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 been enjoying them. I brought them to some parties over the summer, and people are like, like, oh damn, these these are pretty good. I mean, compared to what I usually drink on like the bottom shelf when it comes to alcohol, which is kind of what I was cracking open here, which I was kind of teasing before, is. Something I, I came across today, and this is a brand new drink, and I'm sure you're familiar with the the Mike's Hard lemonades and, and oh, things yeah. like that. And this yeah. was one I found today in my travels, which is a, a Mike's Harder half and half, a tea and lemonade. So oh. I was I saw it and I was like, you know what? Screw it, you know, it's an eight percent warning contains alcohol. So it's, you know, if you didn't notice that, <laughs> seeing the mic's harder, but I was going <laughs> to give this one a shot and see how it is. And that's not bad. It's not quite, you know, cause, I mean, everybody, I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan of, of the half and half iced tea lemonade to begin with just a regular mm -hmm. non-alcoholic one. And then you throw in the, the booze with it. You can't really go wrong. And and this is it's not a it's not a bad one. I mean, it's I don't know. It's you get kind of that fake taste with it, but it's it's not that bad. I mean, what's your what's your go to drink? I mean, what do you usually like to drink on a regular basis? I was going to say that sounds like a day drink or something. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> something it could for be earlier in the day. It but, could be. It's um, a nice like afternoon, middle yeah. of the day, hanging out, barbecue, drinking thing. It's it's definitely not not bad. Yeah, I am personally more of like, um, I don't do like a whole lot of uh, like beers or um, if I do drink a beer, it, I usually like go with Bud Light. <laughs> so, okay, hey, that, hey that's, that's fine. There's no, nothing wrong with that. <laughs> but um, Trust me, this, for, this, this is a judgment free zone here <laughs> when it comes to alcohol. If, when, when you have a name of Bum Wine Bob, you are. You're on the bottom <laughs> shelf when it comes to any cheap booze, cheap alcohol. So, so you're safe here. Yeah. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Like when I'm at a baseball game or whatever, like, I don't know, you just have to drink beer at a baseball game. So I always do that. But uh, usually my go-to drink just cause it's like so easy and everybody always has it is um, like Bacardi Culp. Um, and then I like to drink, uh, tequila i love tequila okay so much <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> a, a little too much sometimes i'm assuming when you get yeah. a, little, a little too far with it it happens you know what they say about tequila but. yeah 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 the clothes come off right i mean <laughs> <laughs> yes i love um like you said margaritas love margaritas um, i have to try that 
Um, or I'm sorry, wait, wasn't Margarita? Margarita, right? Yeah, yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cayman, yeah, yeah. Jack, Margarita. Yes, yeah, the little Cayman margaritas in, okay. in the cans. Yeah, the yeah. a little note. I'll when I when I post <laughs> when I post up the podcast out there, I'll have a picture of it in there so you can <laughs> look and say, okay, cool. okay, that's the thing I'm looking for. So I'll, I'll yes. keep it keep it simple. Yes, and if you say it's it's good, even in the can, <laughs> then I will definitely try it out. Yeah, um, like I said, for a pre mixed so, drink, it's it's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I I've always been like, yeah, anything that like doesn't taste like you're drinking alcohol, I probably love that. <laughs> yeah. Now, are are you a big <laughs> and then get a, wasted off of it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So right, right. When you make a drink, you're like, like, oh, I don't taste any alcohol in this thing. All right, I'll I'll have another one and another one. Yeah. The next thing you know, you go to, you go to stand up and you're like, oh crap, I <laughs> should have done that. Yes. Yeah, I mean now now are you a, a a hard seltzer fan like the white claws and things like that at all? No, I never got into that. Like every I everyone is. I mean I'll drink it, but I'll, I'll pretty much drink anything. <laughs> like I mean if there's nothing there to drink versus not having a drink, I'll I'll have white claw. But it it's definitely it's not my um, it's on the top no. of your list yeah not yeah, something it, i'm ordering yeah yeah if, if you show up somewhere and that's what they have you're like all right i'll i'll drink it but it's not yes. something you're gonna go out of your way to find and say oh yeah give me give right. me that white claw but yeah no, no, I, I mean i'm i'm with you 100 percent on on that when it was like oh yeah white claw this white claw that and and hard seltzers and, and there are some good hard seltzers that are out there that i've had but like the the white claws or any of the the big name brand ones you take a sip and you're like that i always say if if i want to drink a seltzer with alcohol i'll mix something up myself i'll i'll take a can of just regular seltzer and then throw in some type of alcohol with it if it's vodka yeah. and then make <laughs> make my own mixed drink because then i i can control then how much i put in and, and how much alcohol mm-hmm. i get compared to what what the can is limiting me to <laughs> so you're dumping a lot of alcohol in it. Yeah, you know, depends. <laughs> yeah, you know, depends depends on the on the on the event or <laughs> how I'm right. feeling that day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now now have you have you gone down the cheap booze road before of like the like the four locos or the MD twenty twenties of the world back in the day? Um no, I I have not. That I will say that um, back in the day, my boyfriend's dad he would always be drink, drinking um, Pabst. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. PBR. That's pretty yeah. cheap. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, just drink. You know, I'll drink that. But um, yeah, I never. I've never had four loco. Actually, probably missed out. Do they even know. make it anymore? They don't make you, it anymore, they, 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 yeah, they still have four loco now. They don't have the, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. they don't have the original, like the original four loco that got banned with the, with the caffeine. Yeah, that's that, what that, I thought. That, yeah. Oh, it was caffeine. That, yeah, there was, there was, there was caffeine in with the alcohol, and then that's when, I guess, <laughs> people were drinking too much of them, and you know, college kids were dying or <laughs> ending up in the oh, hospital related to it. That's when the the government came out and said, okay, you can't mix the caffeine with the alcohol anymore. So Four Loco had to pull all them, you know, off the shelves. And then they kind of rebranded it as just a, it's a high alcohol content, but it's just a regular like malt beverage. Now it's no, there's no added (laughs) um, caffeine to it. So you can still get it. Is still out there, but you won't get that same experience that yeah. you would have had with that added rush of the the caffeine, which is you know good and bad depending on what you're looking for. Okay, yeah, no, I was just it was all jungle juice. <laughs> it's like yeah, <laughs> just mixing just stuff up. Yeah, shit, like thrown into a cooler. <laughs> yeah, 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 just throwing that stuff was in a my drinking a, experience. Yeah, throwing stuff in a jug and saying, okay, okay, we have some alcohol here. Okay, throw in some vodka, some tequila, <laughs> yeah. some rum. Uh, like throw in some some lemonade or something and mix it all up. And okay, take a sip. How's that taste? Yeah, you know, not not too bad, not too strong. Is it drinkable? Yeah, all right, go with it. Yeah. 
Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah I don't but think see, they can that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I trust Russia. That would, be, that would be banned for sure. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Some of that stuff. I mean, I think we've all been to parties where there were some questionable uh, drinks in the big <laughs> jug. Say, okay, here, have some of this, and you're like, "What the hell is in this thing?" And everybody's just kind of like shrugging their shoulders, saying, "I don't know." It was just whatever we had laying around here. So it could be a you know beer in there <laughs> with vodka and and oh. or. I know, I, I know. When I was in college, a buddy of mine, that was my roommate, mm. was big into the you know the, the Red Bull and vodkas at the time, and he, oh, yeah. he went out and for whatever reason bought these like half, it was like half gallon jugs of um, like Poland Spring bottles. It wasn't like the big gallon containers, and he dumped out all the water from it. And then was mixing up Red Bull and vodka, like in these things for this party we were having, oh and it was like it was like that. And then he had like this big tower of thirty packs of like Bush Light <laughs> in, in the in the room. Oh. So oh yeah, it was, a, it was an interesting uh, interesting event. I mean, I'm sure we've all been to things like that before. <laughs> yeah, but now now you have a something else. I mean, if you want to go down that road. Next time you're out there at the the liquor store and you see, check it out. You'll see those four loco cans, and then you'll now have that thought in your head saying, "Should I try? <laughs> Should I not?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I totally thought that like they were gone for good. I didn't know they came back out with them, but no caffeine. Definitely. Correct, correct. You want that? You can get your own five hour energy or something. I I, w- I would not recommend yeah. putting that in there with it, but <laughs> you could always mix something up. <laughs> If you're looking for that that extra kick to to get you through when you're like after one of your long nights out there doing a the feature at a club or something, <laughs> right. trying to try to stay awake, you know, sometimes that oh, four yeah. loco might give you that kick. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> so so what what's next for you in the, in the industry? I mean, and I guess I mean now that you're back out there shooting more videos and being able to do actual interactions with people. I mean, is it just more getting out there, shooting more content? Um, yeah, I'm always like building my content up, but um, uh, I just got back from, I was actually um, went from New York, which was the feature show at um, Sapphire 39. Um I did that. And then I went to LA. Yeah. I flew into LA and had a couple days of shooting there and then Vegas shot there and then came back home. Um, and then my next trip, I'm going to go to, um, I'm probably going to take this month off. And then in October, um, I'm going to night moves, which is October 6th through the 9th in Tampa and they have this thing called star um caravan of the stars where um there's different porn stars as well as feature dancers like um showgirl type features okay and we all go to these different clubs and um do like you know get to hang out with some of the fans and um some of the girls will be performing I myself um I don't think I'll be performing because I just want to kind of it's the first time that I've ever been so I kind of want to just chill and see what happens yeah just meet 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 the people yeah just see everybody hang out yeah yeah and um so that I'm super excited about because I've um stripped in in Tampa myself and like Clearwater and holiday like different areas out in Florida and I've always had the most fun at Florida strip clubs like there's so much fun but um yeah I'm super excited for that and then um I'm gonna be um probably returning I mean not that I'm really like taking much time off but um returning to um filming also like the end of October okay okay yeah okay now, for anything that you're sh- now, do you have anything like when you're shooting now, are you just strictly doing, you know, like boy, girl content? Do you do girl, girl stuff or is that is it just solo stuff or with with guys? It's funny because um, I 
I have done a couple scenes. I did a scene with um, Rachel Cavalli, a girl girl scene. And I do have a couple of my own, but I usually like, I don't know. I'll just, I, I love like having sex. Um, a big dick. I mean, like, like, like legitimate. Yeah. I, I get it. I get it. Yeah, I think everybody listening uh, will understand like what you mean. Sex. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So I, I do, I like, um, you know, like girl, uh, boy, girl, girl, where like her and I are both like with a guy, um, but okay. girl, girl scenes. I don't, typically do i feel like i i should but um yeah it's usually boy girl that um that i do and i have girl girl is not currently on my list but i can change it at any time which obviously i have because i shot like <laughs> that scene and i think i had another one i feel like I, um oh wait no that was a girl girl boy i've done a couple boy girl girl scenes in the past but yeah it's gonna be mostly boy girl i don't do anal i don't have any anal scenes and i don't intend to have any anal scenes sorry <laughs> hey hey um, you, you draw that you draw that line you stick to it yeah. hey, hey you have you have your limits and you say all right i'm not going any further than this sorry yeah yeah and that's the thing that i don't think a lot of people know about the industry is that like we really are like in full control of like everything that we do i mean we have like a whole list of of you know what we are wanting to do and what we what our nose are and everybody checks with you ahead of time and you can even put like certain performers if something has happened on a no list like i don't really have a no list but <laughs> um you can so yeah there's like a say in like every part of it for the performers right you're you're not showing up one day and they say oh yeah we're we're doing an an, an anal scene and you're like uh yeah no i mean <laughs> you, you pretty much you, you sign up beforehand and they, okay this is the scene we're doing i'm sure you check over everything beforehand and say okay this is what it's about this is what we yeah. need from you <laughs> it's not like you show up and they say oh yeah we're doing uh this uh, anal or something and you're like uh no and they're like oh yeah yeah we are you're like uh, no, I don't think so. No. Yeah. No, sorry. <laughs> no, like I, my my um list doesn't have anal, so they won't even like they won't even send me uh you yeah know, like a thing. For, I won't even be cast for an anal scene. Right. Yeah. 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 Well, that's good. That's good. They have it out there. So okay, this is this is what Lindsay has. <laughs> this is what you can book her for. You can yeah. go through and do it. Either either you like it or you don't. Sorry. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, it, I mean, what I've heard from a lot of people is that that the industry is 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 really more these days a more of a tight knit community with everything, mm -hmm. and 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 it's been doing a lot. And I've had this same conversation with other people too about how much more the adult industry has become mainstream, and it's not any more of this. I mean, in certain places, it is more of the of the taboo stuff that nobody talks about but it's certainly over the past 20 30 years has become a lot more out in the open with everything yeah. which has got to be great for somebody like you when you just got into it a few years ago and people can be so open and welcoming and happy to have you a part of it and you're not i mean i'm sure there are some people that are always protective of their their spot and and have their own uh egos about themselves but most people from what i've heard are very helpful and will work with you and and help you through a lot of things oh yeah definitely yeah it's been a really positive experience yeah especially for somebody like you who didn't come into it really striving to become, you know, in the adult industry. And it, Cause some people say, Oh, I knew since I was, you know, a teenager that, okay, this is what I wanted to, to do. And from like 18, <laughs> they're like, they're in it and they're going. And then for somebody like you who gets into it when they're older, you're just kind of getting into it now. And wasn't something that you thought that you were going to do probably 10, 15 years ago. <laughs> and then one day you're like, okay, well I was doing, the stripping and 
and and photos and the next thing you know you're like okay i'm on i'm on set and i'm doing porn now that's got to be uh yeah. interesting <laughs> switch man i wish i had started when i was 18 <laughs> yeah i know you look I'm back like, at it now every time you... i hear that i'm like oh i wish <laughs> <laughs> yeah i was 35 i was 35 when i started yeah. which is like unheard of in the past i mean I don't even think they like right in the past. I don't know if um, you're right. You would think, yeah, most people would be, yeah, they would be starting thing. from like the the eighteen twenties, yeah, and and then from there just kind of go through it for for years, but then but hey, you, you jump right in and then I guess they, I mean, you yeah. jump right in and they throw you in that you know I guess once you're over like thirty, then you're in like the milf, you know category i guess is, is that do they have an sure, actual cut like off of, I, mean, I was gonna say yeah. it's like like oh yeah this is you know you know the milf and you're like okay well how old is she it's like she's gotta be like like 25 27 <laughs> you're like yeah like, and I mean, then like the the guy that's playing her uh her stepson is like older than her <laughs> <right>. <laughs> or the same age or some shit yeah, yeah it, it, yeah it's the same thing when it's like uh, like the same thing with when they cast and just TV shows and it's like oh they, these kids are in high school and they're like thirty you're like <laughs> right. you're like uh, I don't think that that guy's a, a senior it looks he's he's got like gray hair and and a beard and you're like uh, okay all right but but yeah it's yeah. like once you're at that certain age you're, it's like oh no no you're you're in the milf category now which hey nothing wrong with that you you can rock I that. Heard- I heard too, it has something to do with um, like whether you have natural boobs or um, have had, have had a boob job. I don't know okay. if that's true or not, but yeah, like, I guess it has something to do with it. Okay. I was going to say, did they, did, did they, did they come to you and, and just kind of <laughs> categorize you as that? I mean, I don't think it's not something you went into <laughs> it and said, okay, I'm, I'm in like the, you know, the quote unquote, the MILF world now or is it they come to you and next thing you know you did a video and then it's under like the the milf category and you're like <laughs> yeah like, okay i guess yeah. that's where i am now it, like <laughs> all right yeah no i mean being 35 that's like an appropriate age to be that's, that's true a milf. Yes. Yeah. like if i was like because tw- i mean there was like, when i was doing um modeling or whatever they, they i remember like this guy referring to me as like milf age or something like that and i was like what the fuck dude i'm 27 yeah. <laughs> like, i'm not a fucking milf and then i was like oh like looking back on it now in the industry or whatever it's like okay if you're like mid like maybe mid 20s under you're t- can be t- I, yeah, I, I, I was, I was, that's what I, was like, gonna, I was gonna say it's pretty much you're either in like that that teen category which can go from like 18 to like 24 and then like you said once you hit 25 <laughs> 25 and older till yeah. whatever then you're in the mill for it's like either yeah it's like there's your two nothing... the two spots yeah, there's no spot yeah in between. there's nothing in between which is weird like it's if, if you think about it it's very strange, right but... well like you said we think about it, you're like okay you're you're 27 28 you know you haven't even hit 30 yet so it's not i it's like i can give you 30 and and up as being the, yeah. the MILF category. But like you yeah. said, when you're in that 25 to 30 range and you're like, okay, well, I don't fit in at the in the teen category anymore because I, mm-hmm. I don't look that young. And then you're like, well, but I'm not over 35 <laughs> yet. It's like, where, right. where, where do I belong? So you're just kind of like that, that lost puppy just kind of, you know, roaming around the streets waiting for somebody to, <laughs> to claim you. And it's sad because, like, that's, like, the best years, I feel like. Those those were, like, my best years, like, for sure. I loved being, like, early, like, late, mid to late 20s to early 30s or whatever. Like, oh. Although, I mean, obviously, I'm having a lot of fun now, but. (laughs) Right, right, (laughs) right. Yeah, it's it's certainly. It's a time, so it's, like, there should be, they need to make a category for that specific age. Yeah, Yeah, let's see. We'll we'll work on this. We'll see if we can maybe. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, you, you, you talk to your people out there and tell them to <laughs> the, the, the people are asking for this new category. I don't know what we're going to call it yet, but 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 we'll we'll think of some acronym to to make up for it. And and then it will <laughs> be like, oh, who thought of this? We're like, hey, look right here. We we did it. We we came up with this idea. Yeah, of doing it here. So that, they see that's what we did. Once the drinks start flowing, 
that's when the <laughs> ideas uh, start <laughs> happening. Now, now, next time, if we can get you with some four loco, then we then, then we'll see what <laughs> then we can really get those creative juices flowing. <laughs> If I had known, I would have gotten it so I could try uh. <laughs> it right now. Tell you how I feel about it. Uh, that's something well, you have it on the list now. It, it's on I, your mind. Yes. <laughs> so, so now you know. So if, if you if you're feeling adventurous one day and you do pick it up and try it, yes. uh, let me know your thoughts. I or, I'm going to do a whole taste testing after this. Yeah. And I'm going to give my results yeah. to you yeah i was gonna say say or or we reconvene mm-hmm. in the future okay. for a we reconvene in the future for uh for a follow-up <laughs> and make sure you bring along the the four loco for, <laughs> for that one <laughs> <laughs> and i mix it though with um five hour energy right that's what you well, said. I, I don't know i don't know <laughs> I, I, I've, I've even never done that i don't i, I would not advise i don't i do not oh, i'm, I'm, I'm striking right. that off the record right now i did not say that <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not one to give out. I, mean, I, I make a lot of different drink <laughs> concoctions and I'll, and I'll mix things together and and try new drinks. But that's that's one I haven't even touched yet. So I don't want you to, <laughs> to, okay. to go that route until I've I actually it, it, if I try it out myself first and yeah. then everything turns out okay and you're like, oh, it was amazing. Then I can give you the green light to uh, <laughs> okay. give that one a shot. But, but definitely, uh, yeah, but I'm just giving you these, these ideas to you know, keep in your mind. If you're looking for something different to drink, you want something yeah. different from the normal, you can, you can give it a shot. But now, now do you do a lot definitely of the margarita for sure? Yes. That, 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 that's, that's pretty much safe. That one sounds up my yeah. alley there. Yeah. I mean, that, that's basic. Yeah. That's only a 5.8% uh, alcohol that the Cayman Jack margaritas so i am a lightweight so, so yeah so that, that's basic we're not going yeah you go to the four loco road that that's 12 14 percent oh and, and it's in the the big 24 ounce cans so yeah so you can we can we can work it you can work your way up to it something to i mean i don't know how many people strive to get to that level but if you're feeling that way um, more power to you. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, do you do a, now? Do you do a lot of work? Like, I mean, I know you you don't really have a, I and mean, I know I know you have a Patreon. You do the uh, Sex Panther stuff, but I guess you don't really have like an OnlyFans or something like that. But I mean, the the Patreon's like an OnlyFans type thing. Uh, no, I you. have an OnlyFans. What? Do you have one too? I have an OnlyFans. Yes. Do you? Okay. All right. I didn't have it. I didn't have it on the list yet. I mean, you have like 50 different links up here. Of, I know. Yeah, <laughs> of where, cool. that's, that's the same with everybody when it's like, yeah, hey, you can find them here, 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 and there. <laughs> and it's like now, because I mean, See, you know, I'm during, trying to get my whole, like, like we said earlier, trying to get it so that everybody has seen my everything. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm spread out all over the internet. I have uh, Patreon, OnlyFans, many babes. Sex Panther, all of it. So regardless of where people look for you, they should be able to to come across <laughs> and, and find you. So th- yeah. that was just a good thing. You want to be on every any platform that's out there. You can say, okay, I, I'm there. I have a page <laughs> where you can find me and, and see clips or pictures where, or, or anything like that. Where you won't find me is Tinder because I got, I got kicked off Tinder. <laughs> well... Well, that would be for different reasons. If somebody was trying to find you on Tinder, that's. Uh... <laughs> oh yeah, I guess so. Yeah, yeah. But I thought, well, I'll give my name out, right? Like my stage name. I guess you can't do that. That that's true. Yeah, I, I wasn't it. trying to meet anybody. I was just trying to get my name out, and I got taken off because of what I do. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So you were just kind of using it as a platform <laughs> as to a platform, promote yeah. you. So. So yeah. I guess would would it really be that okay somebody swiping across there and then they would see you and then were you just kind of using it for a promotion to get people to you're like hey message me here and it would be like a Spike Panther link I guess you're not allowed to do that uh, <laughs> yeah yeah I mean I guess sometimes they frown up upon that stuff because I mean I mean you don't you mean you're in the industry a ton of like a ton of that I guess. Right, like, right, right. You I mean I guess you're technically spamming you know, people, 
Yeah. And and, and I mean, people know oh. how many bots, how many bots there are out there that just in Twitter DMs will come in and say, hey, click this link for, you know, sex or whatever. And you're like, you know, you know, the, you know, the classic <laughs> oh, thing, okay. the, the, you know, the classic thing that the pop up in the right corner. Oh, yeah. hot, hot milfs in your area. Click here to yeah. <laughs> to, to meet them. <laughs> So I guess, yeah, I oh guess they, they, they frown upon that stuff, I guess, in, in the Tinder <laughs> yeah. world to say, OK, try to drive people to your site to <laughs> have them sign up. See, and I was just thinking it was just because, like, I'm in the adult industry and I was like, oh, they're 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 um, what's the word that I'm looking for? I can't think of it, but they're they're against me. <laughs> right, <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, I mean, it could have been a little column A, a little column B. <laughs> uh, you just kind of uh, upset a few people that probably <laughs> reported it and they were like, oh, what the hell is this? this is, she's not real. She's just some bot that's trying to send me to some some sex site or something. So, uh, so, but hey, you tried. I, I, hey, I appreciate I the tried. hustle. I, I appreciate the hustle. That That's, uh, yeah. you find new ways to get your name out <laughs> there. So you, you got to do whatever it takes. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of work. Yeah, <laughs> you would think it would be so much easier. Yeah, but and and it's and it's tough because <laughs> when you think about, I mean, the industry is is so big, and you know what you're doing, and you love what you do, and you yeah. want to just get more people to see you and appreciate you more. It's not not I don't want to say that the industry is oversaturated because it's 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 not. There's always been a million different performers in it. It's just yeah. trying to get your name out there and get people to see you and say, Oh, I, I like her. I like her content. I'll, I'll support her. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll sign up for her website. I'll buy videos, whatever it takes. I mean, I guess, like I said, it's just that hustle of trying to get your name out there and get the followers and the fans to, to get on board with you yeah i don't know it's, it's it's crazy i mean it's it's a lot of work you do and at least you have fun doing it though i mean it's it's certainly I not do. it's certainly it's certainly not an industry that uh i mean it, it it takes a lot of hard work for you to to do it but it's got to be one of those jobs that uh, at least you can say you go to work and you have fun with it right <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I have a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. But, yeah, yeah, but uh, but but like, definitely. I, can't even believe that. I literally like I I think about it sometimes. I'm like, oh my god, I like literally just got paid to do that, like to have sex with a hot guy. Felt great. Had a great time. Like. Yeah, so they lucky. said it, it. It's on video. <laughs> it's out there. People can yes. can can buy it. They can they can subscribe. They can support it, and they yeah. can get you out there. So, but but hey, definitely. <laughs> <both. laughs> so, I mean, I know we kind of touched on it before. I mean, I was saying what you had going on there. But if you want to, you want to tell everybody. Yeah. I mean, like I said, I know you have like fifty different links, and I'll I'll put them all <laughs> up with the podcast on the website. But if you want to, just kind of rapid fire, I guess the the main ones to tell people where, where they can find you. Oh yeah. Okay. So if you just go to lindsayrider.net, um, and it's spelled uh, L-I-N-Z-E-E -E, and then writer is R-Y-D-E-R dot -E net. Um, there's like links to all of my links, a link to all of my links. <laughs> links sorry. and links and more links. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably the easiest way, lindsayrider.net. That's it. That's all you need. That that's a one stop, and from there, then you can find <laughs> any any other content you want. You can find it there. Uh, exactly. But 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 hey, Lindsay, I I appreciate you taking the time coming on the podcast, uh, having oh, having yeah. chats while while I was enjoying some some fine beverages. <laughs> Here it was, it was great great chat with you. I mean, best of luck to you with everything in the the adult industry will have to reconvene down the line and hopefully maybe we'll see some AVN award-winning nominations for you in the near future. Fingers crossed. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yes, definitely. And, and I remember check out that 
that four loco that bugs in your ear now to, yes. to give it a shot. <laughs> <laughs> I still definitely am. Yeah. <laughs> but hey, but hey, thanks, thanks again. She is Miss Lindsay Ryder. You you can check her out. We'll put up all the links on the website at bumwinebob.com and in the podcast feed. And until next time, I am Bumwine Bob. Cheers. I need a beer.